Let's create some callout assets, formerly known as callout extensions, to boost your qualified clicks and conversions and help your ads stand out from the rest. So timestamps below, along with some other helpful links and resources, including a link to our Google Ads Playbook to help you with optimizing your campaigns, as well as the copywriting of your ads, including things like your callout assets. Now, when it comes to callouts, there are only three things that we need to do highlight features of what we offer, then of course provide any sort of social proof, and then anything we can do to differentiate ourselves from our competitors or just provide some sort of benefits. So I'll skip down to the last example here. You can see they just list off a bunch of awards and it's pretty much just look at how great we are. Then the one in the middle, the second one here, we have them talking about flexible pricing and optimizing, data-driven optimizing, proprietary technology and complex media buying. Now, one of the things that's easy to fall into the trap of when you're creating your callouts is they'll just make no sense. Or it's a feature that I don't think anyone would actually, your customers might not actually care about, or it's just kind of like a given, like, of course you're going to use data to optimize my campaigns. What else would you use, right? And so my attitude aside, you do want to make sure that you're making the most of this, this real estate, right? You're making the most of what's in these callouts. So you really want to focus on how can we show that we're unique or different. And so something like flexible pricing here, complex media buying, those are things that could speak to someone who wants, doesn't want to go the typical agency model of being charged or someone who thinks they have a really complex or omni-channel a strategy that need, they need developed versus saying data-driven optimizing or proprietary technology. So what? Like you, you need to ask that self, that question of yourself when you're writing your callouts. So here's some examples of different things that you might want to focus on with your callouts. Of course, we do want to make sure that when we use industry terms, we they are familiar to our customer, right? We don't want to come across as using business jargon. And so, of course, if you have any awards or certifications, accolades, you can talk about any sort of really quick way to communicate that clients really like working with you. And of course, if you're doing physical products, you can talk about free shipping or a very generous return policy. So let's go ahead, jump into the ads interface and start building out some callouts. So once you're inside of your Google Ads account, of course, you'll just go to ads and assets, assets, click the blue plus button. We'll go ahead and select call out here. Now, as with all ad assets or most ad assets, I should say, it's like one exception there. You can do this in account campaign or ad group level. Now, when it comes to these callouts, I'm going to go ahead and set them at the ad account level. But when it comes to your different campaigns, you, hopefully you've set them up in a way where each campaign is a different product or service. And so then you'd want to make callouts specific to that product or service, even if there's some overlap. And so to save us some time, I'll use the Google Ads playbook linked up in the description with an example for a Facebook ads agency, which is, I always use that example. And so then we'll go ahead and drop in our callouts here. And you can see that they're showing up in the preview on the right hand side. And so they're only 25 characters. So you're not, do you don't have a ton to do here, but again, we're just listing out some key benefits or features of what we have to offer. If we can show some sort of proof or credibility, that is awesome as well. And then under advanced options, you do have the ability to do start and end dates. But for these, I wouldn't bother with these. These are pretty much always going to be relevant. Um, and if you have any sort of promotion or time sensitive pricing, then you should be using a different ad asset anyway. So we'll just come down here to save. And then if you want to see all of your callouts from your account or specific campaigns from your assets section, you can just go ahead and click on callout and then you'll be able to see your list of callouts from there. So I'll jump back over to all. So thank you so much for watching. Sincerely hope you got some value out of this video. And most importantly, you have some ideas of what to do with callouts and of course, a strategy for creating separate callouts for each one of your campaigns. So make sure you check out that link in the cards in the description to the Google Ads playbook to help you with your copywriting, keyword research, and of course, a detailed audit of how to actually start optimizing your campaigns, what parts of your campaigns you should focus on to start driving down your cost per clicks, and of course, increasing your conversions. So hit that like button, subscribe for more marketing guides just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love.